My name is Elisa Lewis McLean, and I'm the director of campus ministry. I've been working at Xavier for over 25 years, and in terms of my experience, um, I was a student here first. I came uh, to Xavier as an undergrad, and I got my BA from uh, Xavier. And during that time, we had like 1,500 students. So it was a smaller campus, um, not as many buildings. The community was really, really close. And then I came back and um, got my master's. And after getting my master's at Xavier, um, we grew a little bit more. And then I decided to um, go out in the work world and so forth. Then came back and worked at Xavier. And I started working at Xavier in um, the 90s. And then after that, um, just a lot of transitions and so forth. The community just kept growing and growing. And it's always been a close-knit community. Uh, students could always go to professors and talk to them if they had issues or concerns with their subject matter. And the professors would take time and explain things to them after hours, um, after their classes, sometimes they would meet on the weekends and so forth. Really trying to make sure the students understand the material and make sure that they did well in their classes. Well, in New Orleans, uh, we pride ourselves on being a close-knit family and also our love of food. So as we sit down and, and we converse, um, with each other, with family members. Every, I could remember every Sunday, we had to go over by our parents' house and all of the relatives would gather. We would have a big meal. We would sit down, we would talk, laugh, enjoy each other, listen to music, um, play cards, uh, dance, and just have a good time. And then we would look forward to doing that every um, weekend, every Sunday. Well, uh, Benton's Vault Food Pantry was started uh, by a group of students who were a part of a, an organization called the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. And it was started um, here on Xavier's campus in October of 2019. Uh, two students went to Mr. Wright and just shared with him that they wanted to start a food pantry. A part of uh, the charisms for St. Vincent de Paul is to help the poor. And this is our way of trying to help the poor on Xavier's campus. So we didn't realize the number of students who needed help uh, with buying food or, or just having food and personal hygiene stuff available for them. So we started the pantry and we have been growing every year as a result of that. And students really, really need it. Um, we didn't know to what extent, but since we've been opened, it has been used. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First of all, um, we always need volunteers. Okay. Um, and we try to break it off into different sections. We need a group of people to come in and to do cleaning and to sanitize everything. Then we need another group of people to come in and to help stock the shelves make sure that we have everything in order, make sure that we have um, the dates, uh, that stuff are up to date, and, and if it's something that has expired, we need to remove it. We have inventory people to put stuff in the computer so we can know what we have in the pantry, how much we have in the pantry, and if we need to purchase other things. And then in addition to that, we have um, a group of people who come in and they prepackage the items uh, as students make their request. And then uh, we have distribution where we're passing the items out as people come on the days that they tell us they want to receive the items. We have a lot of paperwork that we have to take care of um, because we have to document that we are using the pantry. We have to document how many students are using it. It's open for students, faculty, and staff. So whoever is in need, we don't question. We just ask you to fill out the application. And then um, you could come as often as you need to come. Okay. Well, um, believe it or not, after our students pay tuition, pay for their books, 
Um, if you have housing, your parents are paying for housing or you're paying for housing. Uh, a lot of our students live off campus, so they're trying to pay rent. And by the time they finish paying that, paying utilities or paying for everything else, they rarely have a lot of money left over for food. So uh, rather than that, you know, uh, the Rami noodles that everybody talks about students love, I don't think students really like that. <laughs> I think students just don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to provide an opportunity for them to have uh, food that is more nourishable um, to help them in their studies, as well as better for their bodies. You know, so we try and have fresh produce. We have the Gumbo Garden who gives us um, um, kale and, and lettuce and other types of green um, vegetables that will help your body and help your brain. And we also try and provide milk, eggs, and juice, um, cheese, and stuff like that for our students. Um, frozen fruit to make your smoothies and <laughs> that kind of stuff. And um, more than just ramen noodles, you know, we have canned goods, we have fruits, we have vegetables, we have pastas, we have um, grits and oatmeal, and we have some snacks and so forth. So hopefully we could take a walk over to the pantry and you could get a sense of the things we have. You know something, um, never ever be embarrassed if you don't have something. Um, I believe that we are our brothers and our sisters keepers. And in order for us to make it, we all have to make it together. So this food pantry is for you guys. Um, don't be afraid, don't be shy. If you need it, it is available for you. Um, that's one of the reasons why we started it because we know that there's students out there who need it. We've had students who come in and literally just cry because they didn't know this was available and it was free for them. But people love you, they wanna see you succeed and this is our opportunity to try and help you.